how my life changed and why I'm moving on. Back in 2016, I stumbled upon Celestial Rumble, and after 7,000 hours and 1.3 million views later, I'm done. I've lost all motivation to keep making videos about a game that seems to be going in only one direction. Here's why I'm leaving Celestial Rumble behind. Ever since Epic Quake took over, no significant content has been added to this game. In fact, some content has even been removed. The game is so lifeless and devoid of creativity that, ironically, the best performing videos on most channels are the ones where creators rant about the game's decline. Let's face it, after all these years, the top performing videos are still the same old one stellar commander versus three grandmasters, or galaxy warrior versus 64 champions, or even 96 grandmasters versus two galactic lords. It's the same recycled content because there's nothing new to make. And I don't blame the creators who keep churning out these videos. The game has been losing content since 2021. How is YouTube content supposed to evolve when the game itself isn't? Speaking of content creators, I'm about to upset some people, but someone has to say it. If you look at some of the content being uploaded by YouTubers, it's clear they're just as tired of this game as I am. Lear Strider tried so hard to create new content and inspire the developers with fresh game modes. Now he's making Noodle Championship videos, and two days later he's back saying Celestial Rumble desperately needs new content. No kidding. Mustard King evidently doesn't care about the game anymore. Remember Pixel Juggler? He's still making Mystery Crate opening videos, but does anyone even watch those? Savage Knight just straight up said, I'm bored and left. J Run barely uploads now, and Sunless Rage puts 10 times more effort into his History Hub channel than his Celestial Rumble content. Alexander's Legion has 47,000 well-trained warriors, but where's the creativity? Even Wade the Great, who's actually quite good, can't save Celestial Rumble Twitch content from being boring. There are some good streamers, don't get me wrong, but compared to other games, Celestial Rumble Twitch content is embarrassing, and the numbers clearly show this. And don't even get me started on TikTok. NRG needs to stop trying to edge dance over there. It's cringeworthy. And then there's me. In 2021, I scrolled through Celestial Rumble content and saw it was all too similar across channels. So I tried to fix it. I made stuff that nobody had really seen before. In some ways I succeeded, but in other ways I clearly failed. Three years later, I realized why the biggest channels all put out the same content. There's nothing else to make, and it's the only thing that works. I'll keep it brief. I can only play the same five minute game over and over for so long. I still solo queue a few games a week, but they always end the same. It's repetitive, it's boring, and it's lost its soul. When Epic Quake came in 2019 at first, Nothing really changed that much. But recently, they've made changes that clearly show who their target audience is. Fortnite players. They lowered the Grand League age limit and released DLCs that I wouldn't be caught dead using. They're integrating Celestial Rumble into Fortnite more and more. We keep asking for a race mode, but all we get is, nope, not yet, maybe later. I get it. Epic Quake knows that kids and Fortnite bring in the money. I'm just not part of the demographic they want playing their games anymore. The voice chat feature took so long to fix that it ended up just being a culture of not using it. Celeste is out on viral voice chat moments that other games thrive on. I'm just having more fun playing other games at this point. And finally, I think I'm in the minority here, but Celestial Rumble has lost its soul. It was so much more fun to watch when the pros didn't have perfect mechanics for every move. But the main thing is, I've officially reached the end of my road with this game. I'm 24, and sometimes it's just time to move on. I'd rather stop making Celestial Rumble content while I still can than become someone whose life and income depend on a game they no longer have a passion for. If you're only here for Celestial Rumble content, feel free to unsubscribe. No hard feelings at all. But if you want to see what I'm doing next, stay tuned. My YouTube journey isn't over yet. A final thank you to everyone I've met in the Celestial Rumble community who has supported me along the way. Age of Doom.